I guess Andrew just spoke for most, probably a minute of what I was going to say, but anyway, I need to move on. Ladies and gentlemen, I have taken a different tack because I believe on the 28th of April there will be a number of people in this city, in this region, elected as councillors and as a mayor. I, personally myself, would be a custodian to everyone here for a period of short four years, and that is a very short term. So I've listed out a number of, I guess, issues that I think are important to this city, to this region. And I'm very passionate about these, ladies and gentlemen, because I've grown up in this city, and this city and region means a lot to myself personally. Having been a business-minded person, it wasn't long before I set my sights on my own venture, and I have achieved that at work through my business, Orchi, Ice, etc. And I have two sons who now manage and look after the business, and I have found that I can devote my time if I'm lucky to be elected as mayor. <coughs> Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, the region as large as this, this region needs good judgment, good vision and direction to oversee the grants and the subsidies that I, if elected, will pursue from state and federal government because this region misses out on so much money it is unbelievable. Next, our greatest asset is our staff. If I happen to be elected, the first thing I will do is go around and meet all the staff in all the regions and welcome them to a new change and a new form of local or regional government. Ladies and gentlemen, I plan to vigorously pursue every dollar from the state and federal programs to ensure that Toowoomba Regional Council becomes the best region in Australia, thus giving us, the community, what we deserve and what we have missed out on for so many years. Decentralisation, we hear about it. I would encourage the state government to move some of their departments out of George Street and into Toowoomba or in some of the region. We need this. We need it for the survival of this city and this region. I will begin as a priority with public consultation and a very large planning process to earmark, and I emphasise the word earmark, the planning process for a new regional airport in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, down in the CBD, one, there will, the library will be located somewhere within the CBD to a prominent position, and I believe this will act as an anchor for other businesses to survive in the CBD. <clears throat> I will work closely with the Toowoomba Chamber of Commerce and the Toowoomba Regional Enterprise to entice a hotel operator to come and build a five-star hotel in this wonderful city. Maybe in around the Empire Cultural Precinct is where it's needed. But that being said, we need a hotel. I will seek with consultation with the Queensland Police, the hotel industry and major businesses to increase our city safe camera network to make the entertainment precinct a safe place for everyone to enjoy. We need to feel safe in our own city. With expert help and advice from engineers and hydrologists, my aim will be to minimise the flooding that occurs in the CBD. And I passionately believe that can be done, and under my leadership it will be done. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> while I sat down and put these points together, I looked very closely on what I could achieve in four years. And I've come up with a new plan to help the elderly. It is a two dollar taxi fare, which means any area that has a taxi, those elderly people, once they've been through a certain criteria and eligibility test, would be able to access a taxi to essential services, doctors, etc., etc., for two dollars there, two dollars back. These are our people, my people, your mothers, fathers. 
They need help. This is a part of, to me of being a counsellor. On the opposite end of the spectrum, youth. I will reinvest in our uh, Youth Connect program to make sure that our youth have a say in what happens in our region and in this city. Sporting venues. Yesterday I was lucky to be at the opening of the new tennis centre where Jan Thomas spoke very highly of the partnership between local government, state government, federal government and the Tenants Association and now we have a world class centre out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm elected, I will establish a position for a disabled officer to be in the Toowoomba Regional Council and look after the needs and services of a lot of people who cannot afford to do this for themselves. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is all a vision to me. They are good ideas, they are my ideas. Unless I get elected, and with the help of the council, that's just what they'll be, good ideas and my ideas. On the 28th of April, I look to your vote to vote for me as mayor. And the promise I will give you, and I can give you, and I know I can deliver, I will work hard, I will be accessible, and the mayor's office will be open to everyone in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I believe myself and other people put their name up to be elected. But I wish all the mayoral candidates and the council nominees all the best in the future, and thank you for this morning's session.